Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. But today is a help, help, help me day. This is my planted 55 tank, and uh, I suck at plants. And I'll put a link in the description below uh, to me setting this tank up. Basically, I got uh, some fluorite red on the bottom. I'll put links in the description below. Also, for any products I'm talking about. Um, so I put fluorite red on the bottom. I like how it looks. And uh, the angels just eating a Sarah O nip tab. Those things are so much fun to watch. But uh, this tank has some pretty big angels in it, as you can see. And there's a pretty big lemon pleco somewhere hiding underneath that rock behind the zucchini. And two small rhino plecos, which of course are hiding. Anyway, um, I got some plants from Aquarium Co op and very simple basic easy to grow plants anubis and some other stuff and i had that sword in the corner for years and now everything seems to be just melting and withering away so let's take a look at the plants you can see the sword that was doing fantastic is just melting away slowly but surely i'll, I'll, I'll go in close to see how i buried it i thought i buried it the same as the other one I know some plants you can't bury the rhizome and some you should so I forgot what these are jungle val maybe I don't know um, valicinaria I think but those seem to be not doing well either um, even the Anubis has brown on the edges and some holes in the leaves and whatever this stuff is I don't remember also doesn't seem to be doing well so I'm asking for help folks because I don't know anything about plants and everybody else seems to know something about plants um, I do dose five pumps of easy green every week I don't know if I should be doing more I don't know if I need something else um, the only thing I changed from the 30 gallon that was here besides the substrate was the light I have this LED it's a cheap LED from Home Depot um, but it's pretty bright uh, maybe it's not the right spectrum I don't know so I'm asking for help guys I'm asking for you to tell me what's wrong with my plants how can I get them to grow better um, everything else I mean the fish are doing well uh, we have that big koi in the back actually it's not a koi it's a um, yellow pearl scale it just looks a little more orange than normal today to be honest and that uh, marble <coughs> excuse me um they're the original inhabitants in the tank as long as well as the plecos and these three angels uh came from daniel anderson over at hypnotic aquatics he's also the guy that redesigned my website so check out my website please michaelsfishroom.com and uh if you're looking for website work he's very reasonable very easy to work with um I'll put a, a link or an, his email in the description below if you're interested in website work. He can certainly start from scratch or if you have a uh, website already running but it's not doing what you want or you don't like how it looks, give him a shout. He'll help you out. Um, and while you're checking out my website, I do have quite a few fish there for sale and some other stuff you could take a look at as well. Um, what was it? Oh, we're talking about the fish. Yeah, he sent he sent me uh, that one, that one, and that one. Let's see, probably about six, eight months ago, I ordered some guppies from him, and in the box came angels too. So they were they were like a little smaller than quarter size, probably when he sent them to me, and they are gorgeous. That's actually one of my favorite fish ever, that koi angel. Anyway, these guys are eating the Sarah O'Nip tabs. I'll put a link in the description below for these. If you have kids, they love watching the fish eat these. You can see, you know, this big guy's picking at it and all the dust is, is you know, coming around. What is coming around is being released and all the other fish are eating them. So I put these in all my tanks. Um, it's kind of a snack, I guess. It's really not meant for everyday feeding, but uh, it's fun to watch and it's a good treat. And uh, it's a Sarah product, and you know, so that means it's a little expensive, but it's really good. So, what are you gonna do? Um, the other thing I feed this tank based on 
Bob Steen Fott's recommendation are these tetracolor tetragranules. Um, and I'll give these guys a little bit. And I'll also put a link in the description below. Feeding fish one-handed is kind of hard. I'm shaking it, trying to get it out without spilling it. And I spill it all over the lid, of course. Because I suck. All right, well, that's feeding the fish today. How often do you feed your tanks? I only feed this tank once a day. Um, I do have a... Uh, I do have a big piece of zucchini in there, which I'm surprised they're not eating. I put zucchini in my Pleco tanks downstairs and they hopped off the cucumber that was in there and jumped right on the zucchini. So, um, yeah, that's that. All right, guys, help me out with my plant tank. Tell me what all the plants are. Tell me why they're dying. Tell me why I suck and I'll try to fix it. Take a look at my website. And, uh, if you're interested in your own website work, check out Daniel Anderson. At Hypnotic Aquatics, and I'll have links in the description below. Happy Fry Fry Friday, everyone.